everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, this video is going to be briefly about the start of the manufacturing or building of the electronics. Um, this here is, uh, I use Easy EDA to have most of my circuit boards made. Um, this happens to be a schematical diagram of the ATC interface that uses a MicroPython as its main controller. Um, so this is just the basics. I'm not going to go over everything of detail of this uh, schematic but we'll go ahead and I'll show you what the circuit board looks like. The circuit board has a dimension of 104 millimeters in width and 86 millimeters in height. Um, like I said, it features a MicroPython version 1.1 as its processor. Um, it has a RX or so receiver and transmit capabilities from the USB through a UART that plugs into the USB port and then provides the transmit and receive for the MicroPython. You'll have your 24 volts coming from the machine that comes in here, provides the 24 volts for the solenoids. Um, the, uh, there's four solenoid capabilities on here. For a TTS system, we only need three, but for a BT system, you need four. Um, so you would have your blow down, you'd have the uh, air cylinder in and out, and for BT, you would have a break for the ATC or the carousel. Um, you have an air pressure sensor that comes in here and lets it know that it's okay to work because it has air pressure. You have your pendant in and out and a foot pedal for basically your power draw bar. Um, that gives the signal to activate and release the power draw bar for the system. You have a uh, uh, 24 volt sensor input. The sensor inputs for your home. That's so when you reference the ATC, that would reference the carousel portion or the tool changer section of it. And then your cylinder, and that what that does is when the uh, cylinder cylinder is activated, it pushes the ATC into position, and this reports back base, basically saying that the ATC is in position and the spindle can now accept the tool. This is for your stepper motor driver. So this would be the step and direction inputs to that stepper and that controls the rotation of the carousel. And then these would be your VFD in. This is signals basically noting that the spindle is stopped and ready to uh, do a tool change transition. So let me show you what the uh, three dimensional view looks like. Um, this view does not have the MicroPython uh, added to it because I'm unable to locate that in the Easy ADA. Um, library and I do not want to draw one up but there's plenty of choices for the pinouts on there so I did that. Um, this board is shown in blue and I can change it in a multitude of colors. Uh, green is a little see easier to see uh, when it comes to having the information printed on the board um, but you can see screw terminals throughout on there. So basically I'm having this board currently manufactured so I'm waiting on this board to arrive. I already have the uh, IC uh, chips and everything is all ready to go. So the components are ready and they can be placed once the board is received. So this little this video is basically covering some of the electronics and what I've currently done to know that I can go ahead and have an ATC. So we'll go over that at the machine. So we'll... Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so what we have here is we're at my console. Um, we are going to test I already have done this, but I want to show you what I went through to get this set up for the 12 tooth or 12 tool changer. This is my MicroPython. I already have the files loaded onto the SD card that's on board. And we have the UART uh, USB. That's how it would plug into PathPilot and to know that there's a tool changer in place. So what we have to do is the PathPilot comes standard with, you know, when you have a 770, it's going to come standard with a 10 tool changer as its default. So you have to go into a specific file and change it to a 12 to in order for it to display the 12 on here. Um, so what you have to do is when you first turn the machine on and you get the first uh, Tormach flash screen or you know the flash screen of you know a tour mock advertisement kind of thing you have to hit shift and hold or hold shift and alt 
and that will allow you to get to the desktop in order to do a file search. Now bear in mind, this is a Linux system. It's kind of similar to you know, Microsoft, you know, as far as their desktop, but there's a lot of differences to it. And so you don't want to be going around in there and just putzing around and messing with things because you can make your machine not work. So we'll, uh, I'll show you what I do and uh, we'll, we'll come back. I'll start this right up and then we'll uh, go in. I'll show you where I did it, change the, the, the tool amount, and then I'll show you how we have connection that it thinks now that we have an ATC. So stand by. Okay, we turned it on. So what we have to do is it'll come up with the megatrends. Like I said, soon as the first uh, splash screen pops up, you have to hit and hold shift and alt. Um, so we're waiting here. Flat first flash screen. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Hopefully it'll come up. Yep, it did. All right, awesome. So this is what your main screen, you know, when you go to your, basically your desktop, if that's what you want to call it, and then you'd go into your file system, um, and it'll come up, and you have all these uh, different files. Um, you go into the uh, configuration section of it. Just got to remember mill and then we have to go to mine is a 770m specific so we would go into that file and you see when you look at here at the machine configuration where it says ATC gen 2 trace lots it used to be 10 I've changed it to 12 and then once I've made that change I saved it uh, so you know when you're in these code files you don't want any extra characters no spaces nothing like that so you're only changing that specific digit from zero to two nothing else so once you save it you're all good there so what we we'll do is we we'll just close out of this because we're not doing anything um, and then when you leave this um, I tend to uh, do a complete shutdown so you would just let quit and do a shutdown and then once this is off I kill the power and then you allow it to uh, reset it'll you know once it's done that you would start it as normal um, it takes a few minutes as you know um, so once this is back and, and booted up and we are at the main screen for the machine um, We'll go ahead and plug this in and activate the ATC. So we'll give it a moment here. There's your splash screen. We go through quite a few of these. Once these are done, so we just need to have some like elevator music. Give it a moment here. Voila, it's coming up. All right, so we are here at the main screen that you'd see when you first boot it up. So we're just going to plug this into one of our USB ports and you'll see some lights coming on here. And we will go into the settings section. When you know this is correct, when I activate this, the ATC tab should pop up. So we'll come in here, select ATC, voila, the ATC tab pops up. And then it'll take a little bit. It actually has to read the card. Uh, and then once it reads the card, uh, it'll display a uh, carousel. And it should be of uh, 12 tools. All right, I shut it off and I realized what I did. I, I forgot to take it out of emergency and do a reset. So now when you go into the ATC, Voila, we have 12 teeth or 12 tools. Like I said, when you have this screen and if you, once you put this, the, the software on this disc, no matter what you've told the software in the PathPilot uh, firmware for the ATC, 
the file that's on the path pilot still says it's a 10 tool so it's only going to populate 10 tools up here even though you will have 12 in here so you have to make the two coexist and we changed it to a 10 tool so anyways that is this so at this point we're going to continue to manufacture or make our uh, cnc our parts to continue to assemble this and we'll touch base again when it comes time to uh, build the electronics i wanted to make a note that when you don't have an atc it doesn't recognize like basically there's something telling it the atc is attached um, you can turn this on and you can activate the ATC, the ATC tab will come up, um, but it's going to detect that there's nothing there and it's going to say there's a problem and then the ATC tab will go away and you'll get a status telling you that you need to check fuses and all that stuff. So if you go in now and turn it on, it, it'll, it won't, you won't even show the ATC. You'll get this screen right here. It says uh, check the cabling, the fuses, etc and then see your ATC tab turns, it goes away. So now if I plug this back in, this is activated and I come in here to the settings tab and reactivate the ATC, voila, it's back. So if, that, if, if it doesn't have a report back saying that ATC I'm here, um, the machine will disable it automatically. So anyways, that's that. Thanks, please like and subscribe and see us on the next episode.